Hello, this is Cuckoo. Today I'm really happy because I'm releasing a new pack of samples from my piano. Crazy how I saw you out the door today uh, The thing is, over the years I've sampled these pianos numbers of times and back in the days I didn't feel like I had good enough expertise in making them sound good when you create a software instrument so I never quite released them. So one of the samples is from an old piano, which is a bit taller than this, upright, has a beautiful soft tone. Finally, finally, I feel like I, I've nailed it and now have a, a bigger expertise and understanding of how to make software pianos. And the second one is this. Uh, I sampled it while all of the strings were uh, had duct tape applied to them. So I had kind of a drive and muted kind of sound and I really like it one hard and one soft version and then recently this year I sampled this again with uh, uh, more of a, an, a typical upright small upright piano sound stereo like the sound that's the sound of the piano and on, on the node wave for instance that would be like Some like that, and I've, I've tried to make like a a really usable uh, piano sounds. But on these, on the Teenage Engineering OP1 and OPZ, it's really, really quite diff different because here I can only use like one sample that you can play across the whole keyboard. I create a number of them, so you can really choose uh, which suits you, like snappy and hard, kind of FM synth bass like sounds or more of a, a calm fluffy uh, emotional soft piano sound yeah let me show you what it sounds like and then you can choose for yourself if this is something for you so all of these packs uh, are available uh, for my patreon supporters of course monthly patreon supporters you rock thank you so much and and uh, for everyone else uh, it's available on my web store as well. So go there, store.truecuckoo.com. But now, let me show you what it sounds like. All right, so C Piano 21, it's this piano, and I actually mixed this with, also with some resonance from another uh, recording of this piano. So... I've used two layers here. First layer is the piano sound. The second layer, if I isolate that, as you can hear, something very vague in the background there. I was thinking, I wanted to emulate the feeling of a real piano. What happens when you release the fingers? This is not a reverb. This is the piano and uh, the resonance of the piano strings continuing to ring and I wanted to have some of that feeling so I've recorded uh, and reused like the tail of some of the recordings and and together but there is a reverb too let's turn off the reverb and turn up that resonance That is just uh, ways of building, we're using layers. And on the Nordwave 2, it's very easy to, to use um, the EQ. 
for instance, if I want to make it brighter, maybe in like a real pop uh, song. Or if I want to make it less bright and be more of a background, this EQ is actually kind of subtle, but very, very useful. Maybe increase the reverb. And uh, this piano pack, it's not multi sample. I'm using layers, but it's not velocity layers. So it's the same velocity recording on all of the velocity layers. So uh, in, in these cases, it can be nice to just subtly make use of the filter, kind of closing down a little bit when you're playing software and opening up a little bit when you're playing harder, but not too much because then it starts sounding kind of artificial. So when you're playing a classical piece, you're much better off with the built-in uh, live professional libraries of, for instance, the Nord Piano or the Nord Stage, and they are much more complex. But with the Nord Wave Engine uh, available for us uh, creators, unfortunately, we can't use those functionalities of the full uh, piano engine. So one sample per velocity, but it's still nice. So what would this sound like if I play something classical? As you can hear, I've, I've done my best in order to make it sound alive and also not to stick out and sound extremely repetitive. Like if you're recording very harsh velocities, that harsh velocity is going to uh, sound extremely repetitive if you play it over and over again. So I've tried to make like very subtle attacks on the, on the pianos so that it doesn't sound extremely repetitive. All right, next one. I'm calling this C Mojo Upright. So that's the C Mojo. I really like it. As you can see here, if you know the Nord system, I've used four layers here. So let's see what I've used here. So layer number one, or layer A, is the, the actual piano. So this is without the extra, extra layers. A little cleaner. And a reverb. So the other layers, what are those? Let's see. This is a layer that of the same piano, which is a short record, a short note, very short. So we can hear the key release and everything, and most importantly, the resonance ringing out after it. And I figure that if, if I use only this uh, main sample, there is no ring, the resonance, I, I can't make a resonance. So what about using the resonance of that short note? 
I felt like that really captured the, the essence of an upright piano, which has maybe more like ring out resonance than a professional uh, grand piano. Not sure if the dampers on on the grand piano is much more efficient to dampen it properly, but I always have that that feeling of the resonance ringing out on every upright that I've had. So, and the last one was that. Even more of that sort of ring down, but a little fluffier. So this is without any reverb. But we still have a bit of that feeling of an acoustic vibe because of that ring out. So if I just put some reverb on the main one, we get like an extra level of room. Yeah, Beethoven <laughs> going digital. Uh, so that was C major upright. So I've taken the C Mojo samples and I made a slightly smaller in file size uh, pack for the Nord Wave called everything ending with the letter S means sustained. So typically the sample plays from the start till the end. So it's fading out over a long period. But with the sustained version, it's going perhaps halfway and then loops. Uh, so I made it like a seamless loop there. And uh, dramatically uh, making the sound pack maybe half the size. So if you don't have much uh, space on the Nord Wave, you use the sustain version instead. And what I could do is just sustain it for all eternity. It has a... It, I mean, it sounds almost exactly the same, but slightly different. But that's also decided by the way you're handling the decay. Yeah, I like that. So what about that floss mojo, C floss mojo? I try to make like a super fluffy, airy, um, almost kind of ambient piano. So let's see that. All right, in the actual sample, there's a lot of room baked in. So if you're playing this on a sampler, uh, because all of these sounds uh, are available in, in the WAV format as well, so you can just load it up to your Octatrack or to uh, any other type of sample player, and you have this uh, rich stereo field recorded in the sound. I thought that could be useful or at least inspirational. So what about the duct tape one? I call that C Piano 17 Duck. And then there's a, a C Piano 17 Duck S. Also, I'm going to a sustained level to save some uh, space. Nice. So 
So C Mojo is staccato. That's the other sample that I mentioned earlier. It's just recorded a very short note. Yeah, I like to keep that resonance ringing. And the C Mojo room, where I've tried almost like the fluffy one, where uh, I put it very far away in the background. So this is all in the samples. I thought that was uh, maybe going to be interesting for sound. So in C Mojo Studio, I kind of placed this the sound and I produced it in a different way, put it in a room uh, as if coming from a piano body. And uh, yeah, this is the sound I came up with. So lots of different variations there. And I think my goal is to have compact, nice sounding pianos that you can, this is like the starting point, and then you can start mixing, put your own EQ foot on them and, and uh, make it sound the way you want them to sound. And I think many of these, they could sound like, for instance, the piano 21. It's like a very straight sounding piano. It's very neutral, I'd say be nice for a, like a, I don't know, maybe soften it even further. I put a reverb on my vocals. I think with, with a kind of neutral piano like this, they make very nice uh, background piano for, for singing. So check, check, reverb activated. This is nice. I think it works for for a lot of different things. So I've tried to be very versatile when creating this pack. So like something that can work like in the background, take more presence. Something that's very fluffy and way in the background. Something that is more uh, experimental. And these uh, uh, these other ones with more of a these. And the other one. different duct tapes all right so this is the Nordwave 2 pack specifically the samples themselves uh, they work on all the Nord products that can take Nord samples uh, but these particular patches that I made uh, they only work on the Nordwave 2 so um, yeah yeah sample library and uh, what you do with them so what you do with them is something I've done for the Nordwave specifically, uh, which is also included. Yeah, let's try this on the OP1, shall we? Let's do it. All right, so the OP1, let's place it real nice. Yeah, it doesn't make sense to use the exact same type of sounds here because uh, you can only play like one sample 
and then play that one sample up and down. And you know, with very pronounced attacks, it becomes more and more smurfy the higher up you go. So it's more kind of acceptable to your ears to, to play it down instead of up. But I've tried to make a selection of patches that works within this. So let's take a look and see what we have. I divided it up into two groups. And these are the same sounds that are also available for the OPZ. So generally the exact same sounds, but because the sound engines are different and the, uh, yeah, they, they sound slightly different. But let's demo it over here on the OP1. So I, I divided it up into two groups. One group they're called Beyond Piano, another group they're called Mojo Pianos. Mojo Pianos are more uh, like normal and straight and, and kind of in the background and and uh, nice, where Beyond Piano is more in your face and kind of experimental and aggressive. So let's take the aggressive first, Beyond Piano, and I spelled it Beyond without the uh, either because I want to fit the name within <laughs> doesn't matter beyond piano so how many patches like nine patches in here got chappy and all of the sounds as always just go in there and change it if you don't like the attack skip the attack which is a very simple way to make it softer. Yeah, like a little clunky, fat, uh, like physical thing there. Second one, uh, Silap, which is one of those uh, duct tape sounds. Sounds almost like an FM synth bass, like. And I'll make it, I made it really short, but go in there and make it longer release. Next one, Silaps, which is also one of those, uh, well, I call it Silaps because it kind of sounds like slaps. So there are two versions of it, the soft one. Yeah. Cool. Next one, Mech Pian. I think all of these so far are more kind of bass, bass uh, sounds. Yeah, next one, My Little Piano, which is uh, more of a pleasing sound, which is uh, that key off, that short note with a key off baked into it. This could be nice. Also, you can add some reverb or something on it, of course. Take a spring and a bit less. Maybe even with a tombola. Could be a, be a nice acoustic. Yeah, the next one is called uh, Panda. one is called uh, Panman Pan. And this with a nice reverb I think would be very nice. How about spring? Dial it down. 
maybe even with a master reverb because that is in stereo. sound I'm pretty pleased with that actually let's turn off the reverb let's see and then we've got two left in this category beyond piano one is called Manuela with the reverb from the master You know, it could be like totally background sounds. It doesn't have to be like in your face like I'm doing now. That is nice. Okay, so that, that could be like a nice little beginning. Pick and pian. That could could be fitting. Track number two, record and go. This is nice. I like it already. So let's see another one. So I think that those were all of the sounds in Beyond Piano. Let's go to the other one, Mojo Piano. We've got um, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. And they sound like this, more piano-like. This is nice. More presence. That's nice. And some of them, I couldn't really decide if I wanted it more brilliant or kind of toned down and soft. So if there is an X there, like uh, Mojo Lith, Modulate with X. More presence and foreground. And then Molina. Nice. Marina. Okay. Let's add a little drum. This is not part of the pack, but I'm going to add a drum here. Let's see what I have on this unit. Got the lug, drum, dish. Maybe the lug could be.
Yeah, the OP1 still holds its ground. Is that what you say? So let's hop over to this little fella, the OPZ. Many of these instruments, I've decided to mix them kind of low because the more I push the, like the limits of what it can do, like the harder I push the, the volume, the more it kind of loses its feeling. And I want it to be kind of airy and, and homemade and kind of alternative. But the more I push it, the more I need to kind of strip it of all of those quirky, uh, um, I don't know. Yeah. So uh, turn all of the beats and other things, turn them down when you start messing with these because in comparison to them, uh, the piano samples are a bit lower. It's the same sounds in the OP, OP1, but, but the difference is uh, it's on the OPZ and it's uh, polyphonic and multi-track uh, sequencing environment. And one thing that I noticed, like many of the piano sounds really, really nice with the OPZ stereo reverb. So let's go to the reverb and it's just, it's a very, very nice reverb. Even if it's like lo-fi and it just spreads the sound really warmly around you. Uh, it's a nice stereo. And since this is on the OPZ, you can use uh, the filter if you don't want it as boomy and bassy. You can filter that out. And resonance, of course. I think many of these are a bit saturated. So you can go either way, like cut off the, the top or cut off the bass. Which could, could clear it up if you want to put this on top or something else. You typically don't want the full low end. But it's there because it's nice when there is nothing else around it. So if the piano takes a, a big part, it's very nice to have that low end be there. Okay. Let's listen to another one. With that reverb, stereo. Maybe lower it a bit. Yeah, maybe just make a track here and uh, how about this or this with the reverb and delay something I'm just gonna invent some lyrics that doesn't make sense crazy how I saw you out the door today crazy how I saw you Yeah, 
the OPZ and piano and reverb. Nice. So let's get onto the computer and see what it sounds like there. So all of the files are here, organized by uh, type of piano samples and also by platform, except for EXS files because I, I put them close to the WAV files. So let's see, CMojo, it contains a WAV folder plus EXS. So all of the WAV files are in here, in, in the folders here. And the EXS files uh, for Logic Pro is just beside it. And so that's the case in all of the uh, cases. I could just... Yeah, preview all of the samples down. They're right there for you to enjoy in your ears. Yeah, so they're right there. And down here is the Ableton project. So just open this A Ableton project and everything is in it. Uh, Nord sample library files. These can just be popped into any Nord uh, keyboard that supports the Nord sample library format. So that goes for Electro, I think, uh, Nord Stage, Nord Wave 2, not Nord Wave 1, I believe. And then uh, the, the Nord Piano uh, platform. I think all of those, the patches that utilize those uh, sample library files for the Nord Wave 2, they're in here. Patches only. So these are looking for, for the files that are in here. But if you use these Node Wave 2 patches samples bundle, this is a whole bundle with all of the files um, that I used in all of the presets, but there are still some uh, files that I didn't use in the patch, like the, the ones that are taking up less space. Sample library files. This is the original file, CMojo Upright. It's eight megabytes. CMojo Upright Sustain is roughly half of that, 4.5 megabytes. And then I'm also using the term mini, which means I'm skipping like every third or so sample in order to, to have less samples in there. So if you're just playing chords and, and stuff, you won't even notice, but if you're playing very elaborate melodies and kind of classical style, you might notice uh, that it's more lively when you have the big pack. So it's all about uh, what space you've got, what preference, what space you want to dedicate to your little piano. Uh, perhaps you've got all full of very long samples and then you don't have space for, for uh, like a big, the full one is 16 megabytes even. So the way to, to upload stuff to your sampler is to use Nord Sound Manager. And if the Nord is connected, uh, read everything that's on it, and then just uh, take the, the files that you need, like, like sample library here, and the patch uh, program library there. Yeah, yeah. So further down to OP1 and OPZ, it's the same format, but I did it like that just to be sure. So OPZ files are coming from the OPZ, the OP1 files coming straight from an OP1, just to make sure it's compatible. And there are sampler synths, so you put them in the synth folder. Let's listen to the files. So let's, let's try Logic first, Logic Pro. I'm using Logic a lot when I'm creating music. So I'm gonna make an empty project, bring up a, a sampler, multi-sample, like that, create. So this is the sampler. I'm gonna go in here and say load. And I'm gonna find the format here. Let's see. Got the AXS file there. And let's say CMojo Studio. Sounds like this. Try to make a, a nice velocity setting. And it's just gently, gently pushing a little uh, filter. So, based on the velocity, it's kind of opening up. It's very gentle. I like this filter because it's, uh, it's called 
low past 12 dB lush. And it is lush, it's not muting it. It's, it sounds nice. And since we're now in the computer, you can just go wild and put your own uh, flavor of reverbs and effects and like, I do this, I go in there and pick an EQ and look at the files. And maybe for the type of music you're doing, you would like to do something like this. Let's see. And then perhaps you go and pick a reverb that you like. Fab Filter Pro R. Maybe just use a large hall or something. Or put it in the background. Even more reverb. Yeah, it's up to you. So let's take another one. Load. I'm a fan of drag and drop. I'm going to take the uh, C piano, drag the destination there. Let's see. C piano sounds like this. And with a reverb. really well let's try another one the duck and the soft one soft okay sounds like this without the reverb Yeah, yeah, so in Logic, just find the EXS files and load them up like that, and you're good to go. How about Ableton Live? You just take this project, open it, and open it like that. Yeah, so I did it like this. I, I made one project where everything is currently loaded up. So I'm going to make it smaller like that so I can fit everything. Yeah, so you can just try it out first and see which one you like. You can actually load EXS files into it, but you have to import and there's a, a few steps before it works. And maybe you have to tweak uh, the, the envelope a little bit because it doesn't fall off the exact same way. Uh, here you can tweak the, the, the slope, which is very, very good. So the slope I feel is not the same as in the EXS. Okay, next one. Once it's here, it's up to you to, to produce it. So let's go here, a cabinet, small drum room, cabinet. Yeah. Dynamic tube, broken tube on this piano. Yeah, it's up to you, the other pianos right here. Another one, the fluffy one. It 
So you need a full uh, full license of Ableton Live because I'm using the sampler, not the simpler. The sampler is in the full version. The simpler is in the the light, the Ableton Light. So in order to to make the full use of it, you need sampler. Yeah, so these are the files and they're all in this pack that you can get either if you're a Patreon supporter, you already know it because you've got, you've been prompted. <laughs> and if you're not uh, a monthly uh, supporter, then go to my web store, store.truecuckoo.com and get all the files over there. And I've divided it up, as you can see uh, here, so that you don't, this is what you get. It's like... So you don't have to download the whole chunk if you don't want to. If you only have like an OP1 and you're fine with those files, uh, just download this. But once you purchase it, you have like access to all of these files. So you can select uh, which ones you want to download. So yeah, yeah, store.truecuckoo.com. Thank you for watching. I hope that I'll see a lot of you use these, uh, these pianos and bring them to life places and ways that I couldn't think of. I'm looking forward to hearing what you do with this. Thank you so much, everyone. Peace out.